Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the beach volleyball team. And, Coach, uh, unfortunately, you know, it's going to be the last time that we talk for this season. But you guys rounded out the the year for the beach team uh, with an impressive home match. Yeah, Joe, uh, yeah, one of the great things about being a two-sport coach <laughs> is yeah. I'll be back with you yeah. in the early fall. We'll be yeah. talking about indoor. But, yeah, we went 3-1 and one over the weekend. Uh, and uh, narrowly, that one loss to Towson, um, you know, it, it came down to um, – it was 3-2. to two, mm-hmm. And one of our matches was 18-16. Sarah Bollinger and Darian Hillman played phenomenal, and they were down 14-11. And uh, we did not know at that time mm-hmm. that that would have been really a very pivotal match. Uh, unfortunately, they lost 18-16, but I thought a great effort, and the both of them played very, very well together. People that had not played together before, yeah. <laughs> before Thursday. Yeah. You know? uh, or maybe it was Friday. It was mm-hmm. Friday, so I thought that they did a great job. Um, and uh, so we needed to win at the ones, twos, and threes mm-hmm. and to be able to beat Towson three to two. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. We end up losing three to two, uh, but a great effort. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, too. Uh, probably maybe not so much fun on Saturday with the weather that was there, but still, I mean, beach volleyball is such a fun sport. And coming back on Sunday with Senior Day and honoring those three seniors and Brent Whitehead. Yes. Well, you know, Saturday, you know, it, it is what it is. And if you don't embrace it, if you're going to stand there and complain and mm-hmm. whine that it's raining or it's raining hard, you know, mm-hmm. you know, th- you're not going to enjoy it. You know, you just have to get into it. And uh, it is the same for both teams. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the, the crew of game day workers that Graham Millar had put on, I mean, they did such a fantastic job. Literally, they had to wipe off every ball because <laughs> – when the sand's wet, it sticks to the ball, mm-hmm. and if you serve it, then the sand's all on your face, and when you pass it, the sand burns your forearms, mm-hmm. and you can't see. And so they had to wipe off every single ball that was put into play. Yeah. So they did a great job. And so and then, as you mentioned on uh, Sunday, beautiful sunshine. We were able to honor our three seniors, uh, uh, Sarah Bonger, Kristen Brooks, and graduate student Sammy Perillo. You know, many people <laughs> – Sammy's actually now played – a sport here during uh-huh. six years, it's yeah. a, a kind of. Uh, but she was she did it in ten semesters, which was uh, kept her eligible. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and 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 honor Brent Whitehead. We're not sure exactly what's going to happen with Brent. We're hoping he's going to be back next year. But he is such a huge, huge part of this program and has helped so much and ha- has been pivotal in our success. He's been pivotal in a lot of teams' success, not yes. just the beach team, the indoor women's team, and the men's team. He's graduate assisting there as well. He's. He's he's always here. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's well. He would literally the, when we were practicing doing our non trad indoor. Mm-hmm. S- we were doing that six thirty to eight thirty a.m. Mm-hmm. and then he'd practice with the men at eight to ten. Yeah, you know, it's just like <laughs> and he fit a wedding somewhere in there too. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did that on the off weekend yeah. for beach last one year. weekend. <laughs> That's all he got. Um, well, coach, as you guys transition to the the off season, if you Mm -hmm. can call it that. I know they're already, the players are already asking about indoor seasons and, you know, being able to train again. How, how much optimism do you have going into a, the indoor season and then beach volleyball is going to be right around again (laughs) in a year? Well, yeah, we were actually in the huddle after everything was done, our season had ended. And, you know, I said, you know, they're in indoor, unless we win the national championship, our Matt, we cannot end on a win. Mm-hmm. So this is great to mm-hmm. be end, on, yeah. end on Sunday, two wins, bright sunshine, Bella Fest. You know, all the parents were there, senior day. So it was a wonderful day. And somebody said in the huddle, we need to schedule an indoor open gym. <laughs> <laughs> they just Before don't want to stop. Over. Before school's <laughs> over, I'm going like, holy mackerel. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, you know, I think they want to see how much better they've gotten yeah. because the reading of, you know, of defensively reading the shots of the offense and being able to jump on hard wood and uh, how much higher they can jump and how much better they are. I think they'll be, they'll, we'll, we'll see a mo- even a more dramatic effect this mm-hmm. year between beach moving into indoor because how much we practice, and how much we played. We end up 14-11, mm-hmm. and so last, our first year we played 16 matches, and this year we played 25, and we practiced probably three times more. Mm-hmm. You know, so because of the weather, because we had courts in the beginning, we actually went outside you know, February 15th, never went back in, mm-hmm. so we did a lot of practicing. So I'm thinking it's going to be great. Yeah, and they know what type of improvement they had from last season to indoor, mm-hmm. and they want to see – 
what how much better it was. I'm guessing it's going to be better and I th- I'm excited already for mm. <laughs> next indoor season maybe getting a a six peat. <laughs> seventh. Well, well, seventh. Oh, six in the max. Six in the seventh max. to seventh the NCAA. To the NCAA. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we've got some seniors and juniors mm-hmm. with class schedules that are very challenging. I'm sure. Uh, so uh, my philosophy is you never have enough good players, mm-hmm. and we're going to have a good team next year. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck next mm-hmm. year. And, again, thank you for every week that you came in indoor season and beach season. Uh, got to talk to you a lot, and I loved every second of it. Well, you know I enjoy it, Joe. It's my pleasure. He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Dave Trumbo Show.